Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, we're we're playing we're playing uh, Amazelich today. Um, this is the Amazelich build that I've been kind of working on. Um, the extra deck is clearly not complete. Don't don't look at it. I'll talk about the extra deck when we get to the extra deck. Um, but this is this is the list that we've been playing. Um, I think it's pretty okay. Uh, there's definitely some tweaks that we will talk about that I am planning on making and some stuff I'm going to add to this deck uh, that we will look at uh, at some point. But this is the deck that we are playing. And we are rocking with. We are playing three Inspector Border because it says no to your opponent. We're playing two Kamika because three are too bricky. Two is just right amount and, uh, you know, it's another normal summon. Uh, we're playing three of Arlecchino, three of Golden Boy. Those are the entirety of the monsters in the deck. This deck is very, very monster light. Uh, there's some things that I want to kind of change to it to make it a little bit more... Have a little bit more monster effects in it, because people are kind of really equipped to deal with back row. But, you know, is what it is. Uh, as for spells, we are only playing a total of six. We're playing the one Eldlixir of Black Awakening, three Pot of Prosperity, and two Cursed Eldland. For the traps, we are playing three Eldlixir of Scarlet Sanguine, two Ice Dragon's Prison, two Cyclo -Cy uh, Cyclocyclone, two Horror House, Horror House, uh, two Solomon Judgment, one Imperial Order, three Summon Limit, three Hawk, three Kong Kistador. Uh, then for the extra deck, the only cards that matter in here, the only card that matters in here is Dora and occasionally Shark Fortress, actually. Shark Fortress has come up where I can make a Shark Fortress to win the game, but mostly it's mostly it's just Gustav. Mostly it's just this, this fucking train. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. Let's get into some duels. All right. Game one against Real F Doors. And we will get to go first. Um, very good, very fun. Foggers. Yo, okay. We're gonna begin the turn with the Prada Prosperity. We'll see what we can grab. Uh, banish, 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 banish. Banish, banish. Uh, Cyclocyclone, another pot of prosp. Conk, horror house, border. We're actually gonna add the conk. We're gonna go normal border. Set, set. 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 And then pass our off to real F doors. We're now in the February season. In case it wasn't obvious by my, my lowering of rank in between episodes that drastically. Uh, we're going to go a little bit harder in the February season. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more stuff off because I want to hit plat. Because um, I think I can. I think I'm good enough to hit plat. Um, and I want to I wanna fuck around with some other decks uh, other than these two, so I need to just kind of grind a little bit more. But that'll be fine. We'll do great. We'll have a great time. I see. You're stupid. Priestess. Oh, Priestess is the bad one. Priestess is not Maiden. We'll flip Sanguine as well. They also can't activate any monster effects. That's kind of funny. They can't activate any monster effects because Scarlet Sanguine um, says that they cannot. 
Or not Silent Sanguine. Uh, Inspector Border says that they cannot activate monsters' effects more than unless the player. Uh, the, uh, Neither player can activate monster effects unless the number of monster effects that the player has previously activated that turn is less than the number of monster card types currently on the field. Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Ixies, Pendulum, and Link. Which, turns out, there are zero. Cards in your graveyard, target one blue eyes monster you control, shuffle it into the deck if you do special summon this card. I mean, this card doesn't have a graveyard effect, pal. You do whatever you want. I'm not a huge fan of Inspector Border in this deck, by the way. Um, I, I said that in the deck profile, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I kind of want to cut it. Um, more, more times than not, I don't draw it first and then it doesn't do anything. So not really, not really too keen on it, but it is something that we, we will keep an eye on for now. It's kind of, kind of what we're doing with this series. I'm, I'm more looking at the cards and, and kind of taking a more critical look at them, uh, and kind of deciding where I want to take the deck. It's what we did with the windups. We will continue to play windups on the channel, but, um... I want to kind of take a break from windups, just because I want to show off a maze lich, because a maze lich is a good variant of Eldritch. Maze Eldritch is, is very strong, in my opinion. Having just another big idiot, especially a big idiot with Arlequino's effect. Arlequino's effect is pretty good. Um, for my deck, he's up to six pops. For the original version of this deck that I bound, he was only three, and I was like, why not just play Cyclocyclone? Cyclocyclone is just a good way to get him to rot hit uh, Arlequino into rotation, as well as just fueling him. And it's spell trap removal, which is nice. I don't think our friend Real F Doors knows what he was doing here. Mausoleum. Blue Eyes players, am I right? Sure. You won't be able to activate that monster effect. <laughs> but sure. I have no idea what this guy's thinking about so hard. There's not much to think about when you play Blue Eyes. You didn't get Blue Eyes on the board. You f you lose. You click the surrender button. That easy. I'm gonna flip Conk here. Do, 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 do. One, two. Oh. I'm fucking with my settings. I don't care. No. None of these are that good. That's Gabe. 
I'm just gonna flip this, summon another idiot, win the game. Unless this says no. Threatening Roar! That's hilarious. Well. Sure. I mean, hey, you can threatening roar me all you want. I'll gladly take you playing a shit card. Ugh. Dual links players, am I right? Dual links players. You can very much tell if someone is a Duel Links player based on the deck that they play and the cards that they're playing in said deck. The fact that this guy is playing Blue Eyes makes him very likely a Blue Eyes player. The fact that he's playing something like Threatening Roar either makes him a DM guy or he is a, a person who plays Duel Links and she's shit like um, Wall of Disruption and be like, oh, this is just better than Wall of Disruption. It means they can't attack, so they, they play it in the deck. And that's kind of how you understand who the fuck is a, a, a actual player of Yu-Gi-Oh! and someone who plays Duel Links. Can't activate that effect, pal. Yeah. Yeah, not reading cards is a, is a problem. Go away. No, no. Go to battle phase. Punch. Punch. And punch for game with Inspector Bordeaux. I know I just I know I won with Inspector Border, but I still don't think it's very good. I just think Blue Eyes is bad. Next game. Game two against Drigo. Let's see where we have to go. If we go okay, we're going second. It's a little unfortunate. If we open um Big Man, if we open Golden Lord, we're okay. We're a little bit more okay going second. But we'll see. Didn't open Golden Lord. I went a pretty good going going first hand. Um, I have never lost to a guy with a fucking DM guy, though, so we'll see. Upstarts me. Thanks for a thousand. Upstarts me. Thanks for the thousand. Is he fighting Exodia? No. No, we are not. We still could be, I guess. I know there's an Exodia build that's playing, that's playing Blue Eyes shit, but that doesn't feel like Blue Eyes shit. Uh, that doesn't- this doesn't feel right. Oh no. Oh no, it's Exodia. Oh no, we're being Exodia. I have no interruption, I can't stop them. They ha they have to brick. Um, what's bad into Exodia? Ice Dragons. They don't have library. So they can't have that much gas. Only sending one back. Two back? Fuck. Fuck. Why did DZ have to make this? Oh, there's Into the Void.
Uh, Psycho Cyclone's bad here. Terraforming for chicken game? Oh no! I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Drigo. That you need to brick, though. You need to stop playing. Fuck you. I need you to stop playing. That's fucking right. Let's go! Okay. A game three. Wasn't gonna do a game three. But, you know, I, watching a guy try to Exodia me is very funny. Um, so we're gonna do a game three. Because game two didn't really happen because he failed. Hey, okay. Well, you know, this is a hand. Uh, boop. Io. Uh, Hawk Arrow. Pass the turn. <laughs> Man's quit. I normal summoned Inspector Border set two. Man's disconnected. Man's rage the fuck quit. Man's rage fucking quit. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Very cool, thank you. Very cool. Oh, nope, set one. Zexal Catapult. <laughs> so, uh, after the games, um, Inspector Border is a good card. I just think it's a little boring. Like, the games that we won, we, uh, being Blue Eyes is a bad deck. Uh, we, we technically all won all three games today. Blue Eyes, um, is a bad deck, but it, it, like, they couldn't do anything if they wanted to. They couldn't activate any of their monsters' effects because of Inspector Border, which is like a win con, right? And I shouldn't feel bad about, about playing to a win con, but it's just kind of boring is kind of the best way to put it so i don't really know if we're going to continue to play inspector border it is a it is definitely good for this deck though if you are going to play this you should probably play inspector border in it um i personally want to change it out for alistair because there's a lot of room in the extra deck like the only real extra deck cards that you want to be playing are zeus two gustav maybe shark fortress and then like the rest of your shit can be other stuff so you, you can definitely tweak this deck up a lot to kind of make it a little bit more personalized to you. Um, but I think it's, I think it's kind of, it's kind of hard to say. Um, as for the amazement stuff, I think amazement is actually, is really good in this. We talked about this in some of the games, but I think amazement's really good in this. Um, I kind of want to cut in this deck specifically right now, I think I want to go down to two Cyclo Coaster, two Golden Lord, cut the Black Awakening, um, cut one of the Hawks, and then just kind of fill out the deck as we go. I don't think IDP is that good in this format, so I kind of want to also cut those. Uh, and then probably also cut a, 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 on, on Arlecchino and on, on a Kamika. Or both Kamikas and keep three Arlecchino. But... That is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.